Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the top 3 Restoration Shaman Week Chorus that you must have in Season 4, not only to make your playstyle a bit easier, but it will also make sure that you're using your maximum capacity in the M Plus Dungeons. This one is made by yours truly and it's going to give you audio cue and visual text of when to drop Cloudburst Totem during boss fights in order to get the healing for when you need it the most. Over here you can see it in action we are fighting Chargad and the Wicor is telling you to drop the Cloudburst so you get the healing out of it once the Grounding Spears hit. Cloudburst now. The week or works with both big weeks and DBM timers and it is updated to include every important boss mechanic in the dungeons of season 4 of Dragonflight. You can find the link to this week or in the description of this video along with the description of every single skill that it's tracking and the timers attached to it. If you find something that's amiss you can let me know in the comments below and keep an eye there and in my discord also linked into the description if something is getting changed so you can get the newest week or a version and update it in your UI. Next on the list is another one of my own week cores and this one displays icons with specific talents that you need for dungeons at the start before the key starts. In this specific case it's telling me that I'm missing the remove curse talent and the purge talent for this Udeman run and both of those are quite useful if you let certain casts go off. The icons of course disappeared as soon as the dungeon starts even if you didn't take the talents. And this week Aura is going to be tracking poison cleansing totem, remove curse, thunderous pause and purge. It will also display icon for one of these talents if you have it but you don't need it for the specific dungeon and I think this one is very important because for example if you're running Algator Academy and you don't have the poison cleansing totem for the 3 boss your tank is very likely to die. So in order to make sure that you never forget and you're always running the most optimal talents for each of the dungeons get this week or from the description of this video and let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about when and how to use each of those talents in every specific dungeon. The last week or that I couldn't live without is a small icon that tracks your cloud burst and once you pop it it shows you how much healing you have accumulated so far in it and how much timer it has before it bursts. If you know that you have a million and a half cloud bursts popping in just a couple of seconds you can just sit back and relax and yes this one was not perfectly timed because at this point I didn't have the cloud burst announcer week aura updated but you should pick both of them from the description of this video and every cloud burst will be perfectly timed and you get the most value out of its healing. Those are the top 3 suggestions for restoration shaman week aura in season 4 but you can also check the discord in the description as I've listed a lot more useful ones over there. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you in the next video, now get out of here.